Hello, my name is Joshua Brown from the interview training company HowToBecome.com and in this presentation I will teach you how to pass your software developer interview. So if you have a technical interview coming up for any software developer role with any organization, then please make sure you watch this video from start to finish because I promise to help you to stand out and succeed. To achieve that goal, this is what I'll cover. I'll start off by giving you a list of technical software developer interview questions that I strongly recommend you prepare for. I'll then provide you with example high scoring answers to those questions to ensure you succeed. Plus, I'll also make sure to give you some essential tips for passing your technical software developer interview before finally telling you how you can instantly download these slides plus 30 great answers to software developer interview questions in a PDF guide. And just very quickly, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I want to help you to pass your interview by giving you brilliant answers to the toughest software developer interview questions. And I can only do that if you are subscribed. And please don't forget to hit that like button because this really does tell me that you find these tutorials useful and it encourages me to make more content just like this. So let's take a look at that first software developer interview question that I recommend you prepare for. And that is compare waterfall and agile models and provide examples of their use cases and your experience. This is a great question because not only is it testing your knowledge, it also is testing your practical experience and therefore you need to draw on your previous work experience. So let's take a look at a brilliant top scoring answer. Compare waterfall and agile models and provide examples of their use cases and your experience. The water and agile models are foundational approaches in software development, each catering to different project needs. Waterfall, a linear and sequential model, excels in projects with clear objectives and stable requirements. It's particularly effective in construction and manufacturing software developments, where changes are less frequent and phases like design, implementation and testing are distinct and sequentially executed. For instance, in a government project I worked on, the waterfall model ensured rigorous documentation and adherence to predefined requirements facilitating smooth audits. Conversely, Agile prioritizes flexibility and customer collaboration with iterative cycles and continuous feedback. This model shines in dynamic environments with evolving requirements, such as in the development of a consumer facing web application. My experience with Agile involved frequent iterations, allowing us to adapt to user feedback swiftly and improve the product incrementally, demonstrating Agile's strength in managing uncertainty and fostering innovation. Okay, let's take a look at another software development interview question. This one is, describe a development issue that you faced and how you solved it. Now again, this is asking you to draw on previous experience. So instead of just sharing your knowledge on a particular subject, if you can provide a practical real life example where you've demonstrated your knowledge in a previous project or practical setting, that is only going to make your answer that much stronger. So let's take a look at a great answer to this interview question. Describe a development issue you faced and how you solved it. In a recent project, my team encountered a significant performance issue where an application's response time spiked under heavy load, affecting user experience. Upon investigating, we identified the bottleneck to be inefficient database queries especially when fetching data for the dashboard feature, which aggregated large amounts of data from multiple tables. To solve this, I led an initiative to refactor these queries. We started by analyzing the execution plans of the problematic queries and identified that missing indexes were causing full table scans. By adding appropriate indexes, we significantly reduced the data retrieval time. Additionally, we implemented query caching to store the results of the frequently accessed queries, reducing the load on the database for repeat requests. This approach not only resolved the immediate performance issue, but also improved the overall scalability of our application. It was a valuable lesson in the importance of continuous monitoring and optimization of database performance as part of the software development lifecycle. Now, don't go anywhere as I still have plenty more software developer interview questions and answers to give you in this video tutorial. But when you're ready and only if you want to, please click that link in the top right hand corner of this video or in the pinned comment below the video. It will take you through to my website, howtobecome.com, where you can download my top 27 software developer interview questions and answers 
which includes all of the most technical questions, behavioral questions, and common software developer interview questions and answers in a PDF guide. Okay, let's move on to question three. Discuss your experience with big O notation. Now this is an interview question which is coming up more and more at the moment. So let's take a look at my top scoring answer. My experience with big O notation has been instrumental in optimizing the performance of software solutions I've developed. Big O notation provides a high level understanding of an algorithm's efficiency, focusing on how its execution time or space requirements grow as the input size increases. This understanding is critical in designing scalable systems. For instance, in a project involving a search functionality with the largest data set, I initially implemented a linear search algorithm, O to N, but observed performance degradation as the dataset grew. Recognizing the need for efficiency, I transitioned to a binary search approach, improving the time complexity to O to log N. This change significantly reduced search times, demonstrating the practical impact of algorithmic efficiency in real-world applications. Through continuous application and analysis of Big O notation, I've learned to anticipate performance bottlenecks and make informed decisions, enhancing both the scalability and reliability of software products. Okay, let's take a look at the next software developer interview question. An array of 99 elements contains integers from one to 100 with one missing element. Find the missing element. Wow, this can be a really tricky question for many people. Let's take a look at the technical answer for this. To find the missing element in an array containing integers from 1 to 100, except for 1, an efficient approach leverages the property of algorithmic progression. The sum of the first 100 natural numbers can be found using the formula s equals n times n plus 1, all over 2, where of course n equals 100, giving us the expected sum. Subtracting the sum of the array's 99 elements from this expected sum yields the missing number. For example, in Python. Now here is some Python code that you could demonstrate if in your interview, it may be an assessment interview and you're required to type out some sample code. It could look something like this. So this method is efficient with a time complexity of O of N and a space complexity of O of 1, making it ideal for large data sets. It avoids complex operations, utilizing the simple principle of arithmetic progression, demonstrating an elegant solution to a potentially intricate problem. Okay, question five is this. What is a binary search tree and when have you implemented one previously? So let's take a look at a top scoring answer. A binary search tree, BST, is a data structure that facilitates fast lookup, insertion and deletion operations. Each node in a BST has two children at most and is organized in a manner that for any given node, all elements in the left subtree are less than the node and all elements in the right subtree are greater. This property makes binary search trees highly efficient for operations that require sorted data, offering O of log N search time complexity in balanced trees. I implemented a BST in a project aimed at optimizing a user access control system. The system needed to quickly determine if a user had the necessary permissions out of thousands of possible entries. By structuring the permissions in a BST, keyed by a permission level, we significantly reduce lookup times compared to a linear search approach. This implementation not only expedited the verification process, but also streamlined the insertion and deletion of permissions as the system evolved demonstrating the BST's versatility in handling dynamic data efficiently. Now, in preparation for your software developer interview, I also recommend you prepare answers to the following questions. What is your favorite programming language and why? In your opinion, what are the most important skills and qualities needed to become a great software developer? Describe your experience with version control systems like Git. Can you explain the concept of RESTful APIs? Can you explain the principles of object-oriented programming, OOP? Tell us about the time when you had to go above and beyond to complete a project. How do you handle constructive criticism and feedback on your code? How do you handle tight deadlines and prioritize tasks when multiple projects are ongoing? What do you think is the most challenging aspect of software development and how do you overcome it? Describe a situation 
when you have to optimize the performance of a slow running application? How do you ensure code maintainability and readability in collaborative projects? Have you worked on projects involving machine learning or artificial intelligence? Tell me about yourself. Why should we hire you as a software developer? So the next thing to do, if you want to get the answers to all of those questions I just listed there, plus the full list of 27 software developer interview questions. And if you want to accelerate your learning even further to pass your interview at that first attempt, then click that link right now in the top right hand corner of this video for two reasons. The first reason is it will take you through to my website, howtobecome.com, where you can get all of these answers we just covered in a downloadable slide deck plus an additional 27 brilliant responses to software developer interview questions in a PDF guide. And secondly, the next reason is I've given you three smart questions to ask at the end of your software developer interview on that page. It's a brilliant resource guaranteed to help you prepare effectively for your interview and also more importantly, put you ahead of the competition. Make sure you check out that link. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe as I'm on a mission to help as many people as possible pass their job interviews and I can only do that if you are subscribed. Please also hit that like button as that encourages me to make more videos just like these. And if you have any questions regarding any specific interview, do let me know in the comment section below where I'll get back to you with even more interview tips and advice. And finally, don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn. I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below. It's always great to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best with your interview. Have a brilliant day.